the boarding house in Brookfield Mines, did they take part of that away? Did they bring part of this, like what it was built? My two brothers down? tore it down they and saved down. everything that was savable. Okay. Saved everything, okay. and and, they brought it and from that twenty-three room house, I see my fa you see my father had 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 a, a cheese factory in New Germany. Well, he tore that down. That material went into the building of the house, and so. But, but when when the house was torn down, why every every stick that could be used was saved. The hardwood flooring was used, and my nephew upstairs, the last of it was, up, was in had been the kitchen had been painted. Well, the upper hall, on on that house, uh, my brother laid this hardwood flooring down. But he didn't have quite enough to finish on the end. There he used softwood. And my nephew, <coughs> not long ago, got one of these sanding machines, and he sanded the paint down and, uh, and varnished it. It looked quite nice, because the hardwood was good. And, uh, and, we, and <coughs> the length of the building upstairs, well, I'd often go as, as a child. <coughs> I'd walk up on the third floor and walk all around, you know, just, just, just nosy, as a child will do. Nobody ever slept there. You see, the houses weren't heated. You had a, you had maybe a six or seven or eight pound wool comforter at night. And a brick. And onto that, <laughs> you didn't freeze. But you my had a brick in the earth but, but my you? two brothers, they one of them said Everett said he said you'd wake up in the morning and rub your nose to see if it was frozen. 